It's a breaking news. It's victory in an election that China had characterized as a pivotal choice between war and peace. The main opposition candidate, Ho Bori Yu He of the Kuomintang, conceded defeat, marking a critical moment for Taiwan's political landscape. Lai, representing the Democratic Progressive Party, which advocates Taiwan's distinct identity and rejects China's territorial claims, sought an unprecedented third term under Taiwan's current electoral systems. The DPP's stance emphasizes the Iceland's sovereignty and has been a source of contention with China. Facing two opponents in the presidential race, Lai contended with Ho from the KMT and Ko Wen Zhe, former Taipei mayor representing the Taiwan People's Party, founded in 2019. The election unfolded against the backdrop of China, denouncing Lai as a separatist, rejecting calls for talks. Lai, in contrast, has emphasized his commitment to maintaining peace across the Taiwan state while bolstering the Iceland's defenses. Ahead of the election, China consistently leveled Lai as a dangerous separatist. Taiwan's defense ministry reported the spotting of Chinese balloons crossing the sensitive Taiwan state on the election day further escalating tensions. The ministry classified the balloon activities as psychological warfare and a threat to aviation safety. How representing the KMT advocate restarting engagement with China, beginning with people to people exchanges, Lai accused How of being pro-Beijing and assertion that How rejected. Co, known for addressing everyday issues such as housing cost, garnered passionate support, particularly among young voters, while he aimed to re-engage with China, Ko underscored the importance of protecting Taiwan's democracy and way of life. Parallel to the presidential race, the parliamentary elections hold equal importance. The outcome will be crucial, especially if no party secures a majority potentially hindering the new president's legislative and spending initiatives, particularly in defense.